Hey, welcome to your next 63 days. Thank you for um, joining us on this journey. It's going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey full of choices, full of looking at hard things, full of love and life and healing. It's going to be a journey. Jeff presented a lot of Carolyn Leaf's research, which is excellent. One of the things that she says is that it takes 21 days to begin to change a thought. It takes 63 days or three cycles of 21 to embed a thought into a behavior or to what becomes kind of your natural thing. So we are going to attempt walking with you for the next 63 days. We are going to be looking at scripture that helps to kind of um, combat the toxic thoughts. Now, not every single toxic thought will be handled in the 63 days, but what I encourage you to do is work through the process and as best we can show you how to do this on a daily basis. So where Jeff um, asked us to spend seven minutes a day focused on things of the Lord, focused on positive things and expect God to change those thoughts as we choose to discipline ourselves to that practice. And so... We're going to walk with you in that process. Super exciting. But here's the key. The key is knowing that this is about you making choices. You have to make choices. You have to choose to listen or watch the video. You have to choose to read the word. You have to choose to believe what God says. It's all about choices. It's almost more academic initially than it is spiritual or mystical you have to begin to make the choices. It's kind of like exercise, right? You can't just think about exercise. You got to get up and do it. And every day that you do it, gets easier. First couple of weeks, you're really sore. And all of a sudden, your body begins to crave that sort of activity. Well, this discipline of spending a few minutes a day with us and in your word and other things you'll be challenged to do begins to exercise your spirit and it exercises your mind. Keller and Leaf said your mind really isn't your brain. Your mind is the thing that controls the brain. We want to begin to change some of that pattern for you. Best way I know to do that is through understanding more of God's character, understanding more about myself and the things that really make me have toxic thoughts. So this first week, we're going to look at a couple of things. We are going to talk about confession and why it's important. In 1 John 1, 9, it tells us to confess our sins because he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. So here's an example of a toxic thought. Maybe you think there's certain things that are just too bad for you to take to the Lord. And so because you sit with this sin and this shame in your being, it keeps you from perfect fellowship with the Father. Well, God says, bring that to me. Confess it so that I can forgive you and we can move on. Sin impedes our relationship with the Lord. We don't want that. So confess. Confess quickly. Lay it out before the Lord. There is nothing that you will ever do that will, will keep him from loving you or that he can't forgive. So that's the first thing. Confess. Next thing you're going to learn about this week is the power of worship. And specifically the power of music. And how by changing that one thing... By deciding that making the music in your life focused on God and worshipful, doesn't have to be all quiet, but music that edifies the spirit, how that changes your thought pattern and your thought life. The Bible tells us that God is spirit and he's looking for people who will worship him in spirit and truth. So Michelle's going to talk to you about that, about how do we do that? How do we worship God through music and spirit and truth? On day three, you're going to learn about listening to Scripture. And by listening to Scripture, we mean not just hearing it or knowing it, but doing it. The Bible tells us not to be just listeners of the Word. It tells us to be doers of the Word. And so I'm going to walk you through how do you take Scripture and practically apply it to your life. Again, you have to choose to do what it tells you to do. It's all about your choices. You want to retrain your brain? You want to get rid of the toxic thoughts? you got to make better choices. On the fourth day, we're going to talk about meditating. And what is meditating? Not really mystical kind of meditating, but it's focusing your time. So say you have one scripture that you just are memorizing and thinking about. It's focusing your time thinking about that thing. 
So for instance, if fear is your thing, if you're afraid of everything, the Bible says, be afraid of nothing, be anxious for nothing, but everything with prayer and supplication, make your requests known to God. The Bible's powerful. It says in Hebrews 12, 412, that the Bible is active in living and powerful, able to divide soul and spirit. Powerful. So it's not some book. It's only just a book if you don't do what it says. It's only just a book if you don't believe what it says. The truth is, it's the Word of God. And it is the very thing, it's the weaponry, it's the the power by which you're going to take all those thoughts captive and, and turn them into good thoughts that produce good things in your life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 30:19, I've said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. The Bible is full of us making choices. We have to choose. So you can choose to be on this journey with a bunch of imperfect people who are going to be sharing experiences and teaching you the word as they understand it and how they've applied it. Spend your seven minutes a day replacing your thoughts. Exercise your spirit. Exercise your brain. And here's the cool thing. In about a week or so, you're going to slowly realize that it's becoming a habit. It's becoming something that you desire. 63 days seems like a long time, right? That's a long time. But is it really? I bet, well, I'd be willing to bet that at the end of 63 days, if you press into this with us, if you do what Jeff's asked you to do, if you do what the Word tells you to do, life's going to look really different in 63 days. Don't give up. It'll be hard. And there is an enemy warring against you. He doesn't want you to know this truth. Trust me, once you start getting it, you'll never turn back. 63 days. Stick with it. See you soon.